being decisive and making sound decisions. Such a tough thing to do. It definitely distinguishes a good leader from a not so good one. Hi everyone, your beloved communication nut is back again and this time with a video on a very useful tool for decision making. Remember, I've done the hard work through my master's in communication from Purdue University so I can bring you some nuggets of wisdom in strategic communications in various areas such as leadership, persuasive communication, crisis communication, investor relations, corporate branding, personal branding, what have you. Now, have you found making decisions to be one of the most difficult things to do as a leader? I feel that definitely is a problem. Definitely is there. So here in this video, I'll help you with a decision making format called the standard agenda developed by educator John Dewey. It describes a process that a leader or for that matter, anyone should be following when making choices. It consists of six steps. Step one, identify the problem. Formulate the problem in the form of a question. Now there can be about three types of different questions. One type is a question of fact, whether something is true or false. For example, are team members regularly staying back until late to finish work? Yes or no? The second type of question is a question of value, whether something is wrong or right, good or bad. For example, is it fair to use the organizational budget to order pizza for the team members who are working till late? The third type of question is a question of policy. What course of action should be followed? You guessed it right. Questions of policies are the most common problems faced by groups. Second step, analyze the problem. Figure out the cause, the scope, and the impact of the problem. That is, how many team members are affected by the situation and, and what is the cost to the organization if the problem isn't taken care of. Three, develop criteria. Now, these criteria should be in place before getting into the solution phase since the standards will play a critical role when sorting through the proposals. Four, generate possible solutions. Now, in this stage, try to strive for quantity. Try and produce a variety of alternatives without passing any judgment. Five, evaluate and select a solution. At this stage, you will apply those criteria that were generated earlier in step three so as to identify the best choice. And remember, the final solution may actually end up being a combination of elements of several proposals. And finally, step six, implement the solution. You know, this might seem like an obvious step, but many times groups make the decision but they then don't follow through the choice that they've made to make sure that there is action following this decision. So make sure you're following through and putting the decision to action. If you need to meet again as a group to do so, so be it. Well, I hope you found this format valuable. And if so, consider hitting like and also subscribing to my channel. I'd love to hear from you about your feedback and your thoughts about this format in the comments below. And until next time, as usual, remain nutty and keep communicating.